Anytime I want to feed the chickens, I have to come out here and fill up this five gallon water fountain. It's a great tool. I love using it. Um, but the problem is right now, the water is on the other side of the house. And I really don't want to drag a hose out here every single time I need to fill it out. And it's just a pain in the butt to drag it all the way over there. When it's empty, it's not a problem. But when it's full, 55 gallons, if you know the math, it's pretty heavy. And uh, kind of towed it all the way over here. I'll still do that. That's not a problem. But we needed a solution. So this week, we built a rain catchment system, uh, attached it to a 55 gallon drum barrel, and we created a automatic chicken water system so that the chickens have an additional source of water outdoors and indoors. This week, we're going to be building a water catchment system with a 55 gallon uh, drum. We're going to be making it for our chickens. We're going to be making it for the chickens so that they can have automatic water feeding system. We picked up these little guys right here with the PVC already inside of it. We're going to be setting up the rain barrel right here and it's going to feed into the coop and they'll have some water on the outside. They're gonna have some water on the inside. Um, we originally got these little guys right here and they tend to leak. So we're actually gonna use these on the inside. No, we're gonna use these on the outside and we're gonna use these little cups on the inside. These are super awesome. I've seen lots of people use these in the past and the chickens, all they have to do is peck in there and they got a little cup of water and it makes for relatively no mess so we're gonna give that a go today we got our barrel set up we're gonna make a frame to stand it on and we're gonna put it there we bought some gutters that are gonna line this side of the carport and then it's gonna come straight down using that three inch PVC pipe so we hope you enjoy the process my father-in-law is on his way over we're gonna start building that up today and you'll see that throughout the process over the course of living here, we've uh, gathered some dimensional lumber and scrap wood, uh, wood that we've taken off of, structures that we no longer need. The previous owner who built the house had these cedar boards cut down, what I'm assuming from a, a tree here on the property. There was uh, just some rough cuts that we can use for interesting projects i don't know we'll use it for something but there's lots of dimensional lumber in there we stacked it up on this little platform that i was using for firewood we ran out of firewood and so we just decided to use this little platform to store all of our wood this will eventually be a covered area uh, for an additional space for a vehicle um, but you can see here we have some tin laying around lots of wood just kind of strung about not the prettiest site right now but uh, this is what we're gonna be using to build the platform.
I just need to take a quick pause and give a huge recommendation to these Deck Plus um, exterior screws. It comes with a free bit, um, which is this kind of star-shaped bit right here, if you can see that. These are the best screws I've ever used in my life. They're, they don't slip. They go in nice and deep into the, into the wood. You can see right here, I uh, was able to get it in there pretty deep. That way it gets really nice and flush. These screws right here with the star-shaped bit, they don't slip. They make it very easy to uh, get it inside and, and get a good lock on there. This is the deck for the 55 gallon water barrel. It's gonna need to support roughly four to 500 pounds of water um, as it's contained. Simple little frame. So here's the frame for it. It is 30 by 30. And I just put a support brace right here in the middle, keep it square as well. And then I just took a piece of OSB that we had laying around. Again, using the homestead mentality, use what you have. Uh, so far, this deck for the water platform for the water catchment system has cost me zero dollars. All right, next up, we're putting the braces on the legs. Right here, we just cut simple little uh, one foot length supports. That'll go right here on the legs, on each of the four legs. And you can see here we kind of staggered the layout to face horizontally and then vertically, horizontally and then vertically, just to give it a little bit more stability and support. And then these guys right here will be fastened and we'll be good to go. And then uh, we'll check up on my father-in-law, see what he's up to, and get this project finished. This is the beginnings of the automatic chicken water. This is actually going to be coming out of a 55 gallon drum. If you imagine this is the inside of the coop, here's the wall right here. We're sitting inside the coop. They'll have access to water inside and they can drink from these little cups. And then the outside comes out and then comes up. And we're actually going to be attaching these little water nipples to them right here. Uh, and because they leak just a little bit, um, we'll be able to le leave them on the outside. And all the chicken has to do is kind of peck at that and the water drops down. And so these are going to be hanging from this part of the piping, uh, just along, spaced along evenly. And the chickens will be allowed to drink on the outside and on the inside of the coop for those rainy days when they're inside. And then, of course, we also have the five-gallon drinking fountain. Because the carport has a little bit of a pitch to it, we're adding this little brace right here for the gutters. And we're going to attach that along the side of the roof right here, where eventually the gutters will go. And then you can see the downspout right there. We'll cut that so that it goes down to the barrel. So we have some impromptu lookouts that we just attached right here. And now we actually have more of a level uh, fascia board right here that we're going to attach the, the uh, gutters to. So now that that part's almost done, we're going to start moving on to the gutter system, which will then come down to the 55 gallon drum barrel on top of the stand that we just built. And then we will attach the chicken water system. And these chickens will have some water, additional water to, uh, to have access to indoors and outdoors.
The very last thing that we needed to do was to add a water source inside the carport because this part of the carport is going to serve as the area, the staging area for all of our chicken feed. So it's a pretty sizable carport. You can kind of see that's the entrance over here. Uh, don't know the exact measurements, clearly my vehicle can fit in here. Um, but this whole side is just right now our, our temporary garage. We've got a bunch of junk in it, but we want to have shelves uh, kind of like you see here uh, strapped down there as well. And we're going to put all of our chicken feed uh, in here, but I wanted some water because we ferment our feed. And so from the 55 gallon drum barrel system, um, I just extended another piece of PVC and attached this faucet to it. So now all I got to do is hang a bucket underneath it or just put our bucket of uh, feed there that we're going to ferment and that will sit under there and I can just turn this water on and we've got water in the carport. And that's how we put together the 55 gallon rain catchment system. We added the gutters, the downspout and the 55 gallon drum. We added some PVC right here to connect everything together and now the chickens have access to water anytime they want. If you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you want to see some more building projects and stay tuned next week as we take you on the tour of the entire system.